Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Man, look, we we lead it in bad heart, bad breath, bad blood, COVID, diabetes, cancer, whatever you want to, you know, gout. What what what, what throw, throw a disease up there? We ain't leading it. Cancer. What what, what we not, what we not what we not leading it? Everything, everything, right? It is it is it is, it is it's because we don't want to listen. Okay. Everybody thinks that they're little. Like I'm just gonna walk. I'll, I'll use something real, something real small. But it, it ain't real small because the Bible says, "Thou shalt not steal." But but you'll be able to guilty. You walk through the grocery store and it says cotton candy grapes, and you be like, "Man, I ain't never had no cotton candy grapes. Let me just try one." <laughs> and you eat. He's like, "Oh, that don't make no difference." No, that butterfly flapped his damn wings. Right. Warm, gotta pick a side. Pick a side. Who am I? Give me Genesis 35 23. I said this earlier. I'm getting clogged up again. Man. The book of Genesis, chapter 35 and verse 23. Read out. Start at 22. Verse 22. And it came to pass when Israel dwelt in that land that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons, the sons of Jacob were 12. Now the sons of Jacob were 12, read. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Zebulon. I just brought that up because the whole kingdom was split, right? The point I'm trying to make is Issachar and Judah were brothers. They had the same mother and father. Mm -hmm. But you can't tell a so-called Mexican today that we can't vote. He'll look at you crazy as hell. Get your butt out of here, Moreno. Mayate, what the hell is wrong with you? We ain't got nothing in common. Ay, güey. <laughs> there you go. I did whatever he said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's crazy that that one man action, and and you can see it today in real life. For those of you that are from San Diego, you that that are, that are born and bred in Southern California, you can see that thing, right? You know, you might have a friend that that so called Mexican who's in his car, but guarantee you ain't going to their parents' house and eating dinner with them. <laughs> you better leave that monkey out on the porch, Bruh. <laughs> That's what they're gonna tell you. All right, understand, right? <coughs> King Solomon, Solomon's kingdom, right, was was a mass and wealth and power and prestige. You understand what I'm saying? It had everything, right? But his true strength wasn't in that. It was in the obedience to God. That's where his true strength came. And when he didn't do that, the butterfly effect happened. The butterfly effect happened. And the laws still apply today. Let's get Matthew chapter uh, 5. We're going to read 17 and 18. The book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. He said, don't even think I came to destroy the law or anything the prophet said. Read. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He came to fulfill what was written about him. Read. For verily I say unto you, here we go, till heaven and earth pass. And that has not happened yet. Christ has not returned. Right? Read. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So the law is still in effect. Right? <coughs> and every, <coughs> every time, every time you, uh, you break the law, there's going to be consequences and repercussions for your action. <coughs> I wrote something down here. I'm going to read it. Right, it says so. When you let when you let bitterness, wrath, anger, clamoring, evil speaking, right, malice, get the best of you, right, the butterfly is flapping his wings, right. All the works of the flesh Paul spoke about in Galatians chapter five again still apply today. And the price and a price will be paid because of it, right. A price will be paid because of that thing, 
understand that, right? So everything. If you if you let the works of the flesh defeat you, if you have an ill feelings towards your brother, like Officer Harris brought out in his prayer, we 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 are new, we fresh. David told me was yesterday, right? And everything that happened prior, let it go, right? God blotted out your sins as long as you keep His commandments. But if you but but if you, today if you have the bitterness, right? This is just uh, some examples: clamoring, you know, anger. If the if if the spirit of murmuring is still on you, that thing you think it don't matter, right? Because you whispered a little sweet nothing about somebody's in there. No, it matters. It matters. If you have hate in your heart, or you're too prideful to apologize to a brother you cross, but you said, "Oh, it's just me," I, you know. No, it matters. That action is gonna affect them. Your actions are gonna affect them. That's how it works. That's right. right. That's how it works. Uh, we was warned. We was warned. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness. So these be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. So he's, for, he's forewarning us. He's forewarning us, right? Go to Deuteronomy 20, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Again. God is warning us, he's telling us, right, to prevent us from suffering the effects of the butterfly, right? He's telling us, he said, if you do this, <coughs> these things are going to happen to you. Read, <coughs> excuse me. Curse shalt thou be in the city, and curse shalt thou be in the field. So understand, from the cradle to the grave, the first time you take breath upon this earth, oh, you get in the business. And to the day you die, shit. Michael Jackson just caught three cases the other day. That dude been going for a minute. Damn. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. They, they, they still spitting on his grave. He can't get a break. You know what I'm saying? So curse when you come in and thing. Curse when you go out. <clears throat> you don't believe me? Who leads the deaths of, of birth mortality? What nation of people? Israel. Israel. Right? You curse when you come in this sucker, and you curse when you when, when you go out. You ain't get your, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna talk crazy about you when you go out. It, these, these are results. Of the, these are the results of not keeping the commandments. The, this this is that typhoon at the end of the storm, and we in the midst of it, and we're to the point now that <clears throat> we're kind of used to it. How do I know that? Somebody dies, we 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 pray, we march, right? We huff and puff, we go back. And repeat cycle again. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Read 20. Verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand for. Uh, say it. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Oh, start over again, man, because I know that tongue be swelling up on you in the middle <laughs> of all this, all this reading. Me, but whoop, me just get all big. <laughs> <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 20. Bring it out. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke, and all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. So check it out. Everybody here that works, you know, you be at work, it's cool when they do it. <laughs> but when you do it, the Lord said he's going to set, set at the beginning again. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing. Damn, man, you you late again, bro. Uh, you know, I'm just like just five minutes, man. You know what I'm saying? Read. Vexation. Oh, man. Yeah, here we go again. Read. And rebuke. Yep, rebuke. Hey, sign this paperwork, bro. I done told you. But, but, but he just, no. It's cool when they do it. You know what I'm saying? Read. And all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do. Yep. Until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly, because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. 28. Verse 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Because ain't no crazier person that's walking this face of the earth than a damn Christian. 
they cat shit crazy. I'm telling you, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they at the top of the they at the top of the crazy bunch. You you can read something right out the Bible, and they not gonna hear. Not my Jesus. What? Yeah, they yeah. gonna say that's your belief. That's your belief. Yeah, that's your belief. Yeah, you misconstruing the words. It said the Lord's not done away with. Yeah, yeah. They talk about context. Oh yeah, yeah, context. You got you get everything in the wrong context. That's crazy, man. Uh, twenty nine, verse twenty nine. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. So this is true also because our people, we are grasping at straws. We grasping at Christianity. We grasping at uh, Islam. You know, we want to be Egyptologists. We want to be Jehovah Witnesses. We want to be everything but what God told us to be. Who, who taught you to hate what God made you, right? Who, who, that's the question. Who taught you to hate what God made you, right? And it's all because we don't want to obey his laws, and this is a, this is a butterfly effect. You have hate in your heart towards your brother. This is the result of it. Uh, 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. What was yesterday? Day of Atonement. Uh, f for the world. Oh, yeah. Columbus Day, right? So Columbus came over here, right? And, and he started bringing us back to Spain, right? He started bringing us. It's, it's Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. uh, he's 1492, right? He started bringing us back. You know what I'm saying? He brought disease over here. Millions and millions and millions of Israelites died because of this nasty, wicked heathen, right? He started bringing us back. That's the butterfly effect. These, these are stuff that you know to be true. 1619, the translated sl slave trade. This is stuff you know to be true. These are the, these are the, uh, these are the, re these are because we didn't listen to Moses when he spoke to all Israel on this side of the Jordan, when he told us to Deuteronomy 2815, if you do not do what I told you, these are going to happen. The butterfly effect, right? Read uh, 37. Verse 37. And thou hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to put tangible, tangible stuff on it that you can see, feel, hear, touch, and smell, right? Because when I spoke about Joshua, okay, you can put your mind there, right? right? But that was way back when, right? I can talk about uh, Solomon and his sin, right? You might understand, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, he had a lot of women or whatever, but you wasn't there. That was way back when. But these stuff I'm reading now, this is stuff you can feel and touch. This is the this is the effect because uh, we just read in Matthew five seventeen the laws are still in effect. Not one jot nor tittle shall any no wise pass from the law, and because you're not doing what you're supposed to do, all of Israel is suffering from this thing. That's right. right? Your actions matter. Right. Read thirty seven verse thirty seven, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword, nigga, among cool. You know what I'm saying. All those nasty African American, mm. black, you know what I'm saying? Mexican. Colored. Colored. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think I was like three or four of them things. I'm almost 60. I'm, I've been a few of them things, man. I've been a hairstyle and everything, bro. I know. Yeah. Read 37 again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. And we astonishment, like we, we was teaching, uh, we was teaching yesterday at the border, right? And what a uh Oh, brother, De uh, soldier, De so soldier went up to the uh, this dude to try to give him a, a flyer. He said, "Man, I already know you guys are the Israelites, man. He he already knew, right? We the ones that don't know. They looking at us, be like, look, at, it, it, they don't even know who they are, right? We got discontinued from our heritage, like it says in Jeremiah, because because of our stiff neckedness. I'm work. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna get that word sooner or later. <laughs> I'm gonna get that word. That stiff neckedness, right? We were discontinued. So it's a real thing." Read a proverb. A proverb. What, what's a what's a what, we we say it all the time. You want you want to hide something from a negro? Put it in the book. Cause we don't want to read. We don't want to read. I, I I proved the point yesterday. I said who read Matthew? I mean Psalms fifty one. Like I asked y'all too. None of the men read it. About three of the women read it. Like 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 and and, and, and that and that psalm was so poignant for the uh, DOA. Crazy man. So a proverb. 
proven fact. I just told you, read it the day, day before. Nobody read it, right? Read. And a byword yep. among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Whether all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. 43. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. You don't believe me? You ask. Uh, they built a whole big ball, uh, wall, ball, wall, blah, 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 blah. border wall, right? They're building a border wall to, to keep us out of our own country. Bruh. Joe Biden, they just come over this thing. Joe Biden has to spend his money to build a border wall in Texas. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do nothing. You can do whatever you want with that cash. You can allocate. Oh, no, we got to build a wall, right? The stranger, because he is a stranger, right? He He's above us. Why? Because we're not hearkening to the Lord's statute commandments of the Most High God. What if I bet? I know one thing he ain't gonna do with that money. What's that? Reparations. Oh, you ain't gonna, you ain't, you ain't, ain't I gotta, give no reparations. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting none of that. You ain't getting none of that. Oh, hell no! Oh, oh, oh. 46. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. Again, he's telling me the same thing he said in 15. He's saying it again right there, right? Differently, but it's the same thing, read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. And we're the only ones that can't see this sign. You know, we were like, why me, Lord? Well, he's telling you, because you ain't keeping these commandments. You, you're, you're suffering from the butterfly effect. Read. Because thou servedest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. There you go again. And, and, and I, think the, I think the last time I taught up here, I was talking about serving God with joyness and gladness of heart. Yep. There it is in the scripture. <laughs> there it is in the scripture. Wow. Right? Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And, a, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And you heard it before, and I'm going to repeat it, right? Nobody in here has a yoke of iron on their neck. Why? Because we, we already destroyed. Right? Because we're already destroyed as a people. Because we, 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 we operate as five fingers, right? Four fingers of the thumb instead of a, a, a operating as a fist. You don't believe Esau operates together? Just because they call them Ukraine and Russia, uh, uh, Democrats Israel, and Republicans. Democrats and Republicans. Look, you don't believe me? Look, the, uh, Israel gets, uh, the Isra Israelis get into a little tiff. They send the, our whole military over there, right? You know, Africa, they're having wars right now. Ain't nobody supporting them dudes, right? Maybe China, right? Uh, Russia and Ukraine, millions and millions of dollars. Where, where is money coming from, right? They, they think it's thieves. Don't they get it confused, right? Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, yep. a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard, regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. He don't do, give a damn if you eight to eighty, mm. right? And, and and the reason why, right, is because it's, it's all because of us, of our actions, our behaviors. If we stop thinking as a collective, having uh, love in your heart for your brother, uh, what's the greatest commandment? Love thy God. With all their heart and, and all their soul. And what's the next one? Love thy neighbor as thyself. And how you do that? By keeping the commandments. <laughs> right? And we wouldn't be in this situation. Wouldn't be no butterfly happen to us. Be some butterfly effect happen to them. Mm -hmm. Right? 61. Verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Man, look, we we lead it in bad heart, bad breath, bad blood, COVID, diabetes, cancer, 
whatever you want to, you know, gout. What what what, what th- throw a disease up there we ain't leading it. Cancer. What what, what we not, what we not what we not leading it. Everything. Everything. Right? It is it is it is it's because we don't want to listen. Okay? Everybody thinks that they're, they're little like I'm just gonna walk I'll I'll use something real, something real small, but it it ain't real small because the Bible says thou shalt not steal. But but you'll be able to get me. You walk through the grocery store and it says cotton candy grapes, and you be like, man, I ain't never had no cotton candy grapes. Let me just try one. <laughs> and you eat, you like, oh, that don't make no difference. No, that butterfly flapped his damn wings. <laughs> right? I'm just telling you how small you don't you don't you don't you don't pay no attention to it, but how small it is. Right? How how how? Cause God said that now. He said it's just a grape. Was it your grape? No, it wasn't your grape. No. What club was that at? <laughs> that was admit that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they. I've called her. She hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu Nation. I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You're leaving me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> Didn't have to class. Yeah, I knew what you were talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 31. Sixty-four. Verse sixty-four. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Is, is, is that not happening right now? <laughs> that is happening right now, all the time, and they got our people in a straight headlock. Bring it out, right? It's funny, right? You know, every, everybody heard this. You know, the uh, the most segregated segregated time of of the day in the United States of America is, is Sunday between like ten and one, because you know the majority of black folks are in their church, the majority of white folks are in their church. It's the same thing with Islam. Let 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 one of them nation of Islam dudes go. To try to go to uh, Yemen and go up in one of them them, them joints, <laughs> and they, they you know they man they get it, it all looks sweet when they're walking around that big rock, right? But believe you me, everybody's going back to their own people, o- old place with their own people, right? You know the Chaldeans are out there in El Cajon, go up and go up one of the mosques and be like, yo, I'm here. You take your shoes off with your little kufi. Cool like, they, they, be look, they be looking at you crazy as hell, right? Where we at? Oh, uh, 65. Verse 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. Read, read. And, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. So again, I'm just reading these, right? That so you can see like these are tangible stuff that you you can see and feel right. It was ju- they just had that sister down in Florida. They found her hanging from a tree, yep. and the police immediately said she committed suicide. What? Right? Crazy, crazy. Right? Th- these are tangible things going on right now, and it's all of the, the ass under the butterfly effect. Let's go to 67. We're going to read 67 to 68. Verse 67. In the morning thou shalt say, would God it were even. And at even thou shalt say, would God it were morning. For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear. And for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. So we all been in that situation, right? Man, I'm so sick and tired of this, man. I wish it just be open. How long do we got to continue to do this? Right? That's what we say. We see this on the news. Right? Madness, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into bondage again. With ships. That's how we got our butts over here, the majority of us. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You ain't, you ain't going back to Israel. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Yep, yeah, that's just what you do. That's just what, that's just what happened to us. Read. For bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. No man is going to save us. Right? No man is going to save us because 
we're not keeping God's laws, right? We're, we're moving as individuals. We think the little things don't matter. The little things matter, right? The little things always matter when it pertains to us because God gave us the law. They didn't give us nobody else. Esau can go out there and steal, right? Esau can go out there and kill, right? Moab go out there and steal and kill. He can eat that dog, right? He can eat that pig, right? Bruh. That's not what, that's not, that. that's not for us. Right, and then when we do it, right, there's a, there's a co consequence and repercussions for your actions. The good thing is, the good thing is, all three of y'all that's up in here tonight, right, you guys are on the right path. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Understand, God loves us, but everything has a price. Our price is simply to keep the commandments of God, right? And I'm gonna say simply because that's all you have to do to have faith in Christ Jesus. And keep the commandments of God. Revelations 14 and 12. Understand what I'm saying? Check it out. Moses warned us, right? Right? And Numbers, he warned, told us again, give us Numbers 15, 38. Why do we wear fridges, right? If God didn't love us, why did he give us fridges? Right? Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And I know this seems like simple, like 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 elementary, but it's important. It's important. This little this this little act, right, is gonna keep you, right, to have the laws in the forefront of your mind. Right? And if you think it don't matter, right, why would that woman reach out to touch Christ, Christ the the hem of his garment? Because these, 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 these fridges give, give you power, mm -hmm. right? The law gives you power. The law gives you life. The commandments give you life. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go a whoring that ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. Yeah. And now, when you read this, when you go up a little bit more, the Lord gave us a commandment immediately after we after he had to stone somebody for picking up sticks on the Sabbath, right? He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't want the worst for us. But you, you're not going you, to, you're not, you're not going to be disobedient because cause that, that comes with a, a price, right? That, that little act of picking up sticks resulted in that man's death, the butterfly effect. But it kind of benefited us. I don't. I don't want to minimize the, that man's life, but he gave us the law of fridges. So you and I, that's walking around in 2023, if we, if we're walking down the street and something happens and we about to get outside ourselves, we could touch these fridges and think about, ah, oh, no, I'm an Israelite. I ain't going there. I'm better than that. I'm yeah. Better than that. Because if I do, there might be consequences and repercussions for the ramifications of my actions. There will be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, the Lord wants the best for us. Baruch 4 6. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 6. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. So he, 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 didn't, he, didn't, he didn't bring us over for our destruction because the Lord, could, he, he, don't, he could just wake and just get, get rid of us. Like, read. But because ye moved God to wrath. You were delivered unto the enemies. Because because of our disobedience, right? And because of our disobedience again, right? The the, the that typhoon, right, is, is is where we at right now, in the midst of the storm. In the midst of the storm. Understand. Let's go back to Deuteronomy twenty eight and verse uh, we're gonna start at verse one. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight and verse one. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Again, he said, if you listen to the Lord thy God, read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations above of what? the earth. Above all nations of the earth. Man, if you do, he'll put you above all nations above the earth. If you do what's right. Read. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken diligent, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, 
and blessed shalt thou be in the field. So if you do this, you're going to be, you know, j the, the same way the butterfly effect can have a negative ramification, it can have a positive, ram a positive outcome. If you do these things, mm -hmm. collectively, right. collectively, read. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of, of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and th the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. Read. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out. Everything that you put your hands to, right, it, it, you, you go to win, 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 win. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Read. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come up against thee, set, and they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. Just like, just like the Lord gave us Jericho, right? When we was keeping his commandments, that's gonna happen again, right? Ain't gonna be none of that AI, that I, AI, 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 ain't gonna be none of that. Ain't gonna be none of that. And we ain't gonna be smitten for our enemies. We ain't gonna lose life and live, right? That's they ain't gonna happen, right? Read. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses. And in all that thou settest thine hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Read. The Lord shall establish thee and holy people unto himself, as he hath sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. That's the price right there. If you do that, that's the price right there. It, it is, it's simple. Like, it's simple. Read. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. They shall be afraid. We just got to unlearn the, all the nastiness and wickedness of this world. You know what I'm saying? Beat it out of us, right? Beat us out of low self-esteem. and All that stuff, we got to get rid of it, right? Read. And the Lord shall... Uh, and the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, and the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, and in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give, rain, give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and, that, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandment of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. Yep. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left to go after other gods to serve them. There you go. So if we if we if we just button down, right? Dig into this Bible, right? Lean on one another, understand that our actions have consequences that 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 is going to affect future generations. Right? It was our forefathers that that got us into the situation, but we continue with the same same nonsense. Right? We we just we just the beginning, right, of of getting right. We we the example, right? We we that we that Matthew fifteen Matthew five and sixteen, let your light shine before men. That's that's who we are right now. Right? Give Romans uh two and eleven. The book of Romans, chapter two and verse eleven. For there is no respect of persons with God. Say that again. For there is no respect of persons with God. So God don't respect persons, right? He, he don't respect persons, right? Get it, uh, Exodus chapter 2, verse 25. The book of Exodus chapter 2 and verse 25. Bring it out. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. So that's who God respects. He don't respect the individual. He respects Israel. That's right. So I'm trying to tell you, like, your actions matter, right, because it has an outcome on Israel, like that dude, Achon, 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 right? His his actions had a, had an uh, effect on Israel. Solomon's actions had an uh, effect on Israel. Let, let me go do my little recap. You know, I like my recaps, man.
there you go, dog. I love my recaps. I love it. Oh, my man, 50 grand. All right, first, we came, we, uh, we uh, gave you the definition of the butterfly effect, right? We said uh, the butterfly effect rests on the notion that the world is deeply interconnected. We read that, right? We see that with Joshua. We, we see that in, in, in the book of Solomon. Uh, the basic scriptures I touched on Deuteronomy 28, we see that, right? Such that one small occurrence can influence a much larger complex system, right? One act of an Israelite can affect all of Israel, right? The effect is named after an allegory for the chaos theory. It evokes the idea that a small butterfly flapping its wings could hypothetically cause a typhoon, right? First, we went to Joshua 6. We went through 2 and 21. We, talk, we, we identified the curse thing. We showed when, when Israel was doing the right thing, right? When, uh, when we was instructed the Lord that don't touch the cursed thing, we went to Joshua 7, right? Read the whole thing where Akon, right, took the cursed thing. For whatever reason, he t took a little piece of gold, a little piece of silver, and some, and some nice garments, and he hid it, right? And, and the result of that thing was the death of some Israelites and the destruction of everything he owned, right? The destruction of everything he owned. Then we went to, I went to Psalms 147, 19 and 20 to show that the laws was given to us. Right? It wasn't the law well, was given to everybody, it was given to us, right? And I, I brought that out and I then I identified two simple laws, right? Deuteronomy seven, two through eleven, right? And uh Deuteronomy seventeen, sixteen to twenty, right, about marrying other nations, right, and multiplying things upon you, right? Right? The Lord said, Don't do these things. We went to first Kings chapter two, one through four, where where David told his son, like, go show yourself and be a man, right? And if you keep these commandments, right? Is the the kingdom of Israel was always going to remain with you, right? Then we went to Solomon's sin in First Kings eleven, chapter one through twelve, where Solomon didn't do that. After the Lord came to him twice, he 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 wanted he wanted he wanted to taste every flavor, neighbor, right? He he all he all up in everything, right? The Lord said, "Man, you tripping?" He just kept on doing it to the extent that he built uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Build uh, uh, built shrines or whatever to other nations. Altars, idols, and altars to other nations, the burnt incense and whatnot. Like he was bugging, right? Then we went to First Kings twelve one through twenty four, which was the butterfly effect. Because of that action, right? He he took took the kingdom from him, right? From his son, right? It's crazy, right? I touched on how Solomon's king uh, Solomon's king was known for his wealth and his military power and his besiege, but he didn't understand that his his true power came from the obedience of God, right? We touched on Matthew, we touched on Matthew 5, 17 to 18, that the laws still apply today. Not one jot or one tittle shall no wise pass from the law. Right? And they still apply for the day. Right? We went to Deuteronomy 1 and 1 where Moses warned us back in the day. And this still is prevalent today. We went through Deuteronomy 20, 15. We touched on a number of them, 16, 20, 37. 45 on down, 67, 68, 65. We touched on a bunch of them that, that are all prevalent today. I try to put a put a tangible spin on them so you can see that we're still uh, in, the middle of, in, in the middle of the storm because we, we operate as individuals, not as a collective. Like, you know what I'm saying? I told you that uh, God loves us, and, but but the price is that we have to keep the commandments. That, that's, that's a cost to us. It's, it's a simple cost, right? Revelation 14 and 12. This is he that keeps the commandments of God and the faith in Christ Jesus. That's the price that we pay, right? We touched on Numbers 15, 38 on down, right? Something you can physically touch right now to remind you. Lord gave us this thing to keep us uh, with him, in two with him, to be one with him, right? We touched on Baruch 4 and 6. Look, man, the Lord, if he wanted to destroy us, he could, but he didn't do that. He put us here for, for punishment, for a little act right, a little chastity, so maybe we get our get our minds right. Right, we touched on Deuteronomy twenty-eight one through fourteen that if we do these things, right, the butterfly effect go the opposite way, or wi which everything we touch we're gonna win. Right, we touched on Romans two and eleven, right, God don't respect persons, and then we went to Exodus two and twenty-five to show you that God respects Israel. Your actions, uh, uh has an outcome on all Israel. It ain't about you; it's about Israel as a whole. Hey, you got anything? Because you didn't say a damn thing, bro. Oh, man. All right, so uh, let's get a, a positive example of the of the butterfly effect. All right. So we already, I, uh, Officer Azariah mentioned that uh, J Jeremiah said that we would discontinue from our heritage. Let's get Malachi chapter 4. We're going to start at 4 real quick. Malachi. 
So uh, we we see that we've uh, discontinued from our heritage because in slavery we had it whipped out of us. We couldn't. We weren't allowed to read. We got our backs whipped and more atrocities that happened to us. But let's read this right here. Malachi chapter 4, verse 4. Read it out. Remember the law of Moses, my servant, which I command unto him in Horeb, for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. So he, he started off that verse with remember, because it, it, he knew if we forget, we would discontinue from it, we would forget the, the laws of God. So he's saying remember the laws of God. And this is how it's going to happen. Read. Behold, I send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So he, Elijah has already came multiple times. You know, he was there in the time of Christ as John the Baptist. But in these last days, he has is where the evidence that he's already came is that us in this room and viewing this video, we you see that we are we come to the knowledge that we're the Israelites the 12 tribes of Israel, and that we must keep the commandments of God. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers. So that's the, the way that happens, turning the heart of the children to the fathers, is us seeking our nationality and what we must do to be saved from the judgment that's coming. That's in the Bible. And it said the fathers to the children, the fathers are the prophets that wrote the Bible, and that is what's turned uh, to us. Keep reading. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. So if he did not do that, he would have to destroy the whole earth. So a positive uh, effect is that Elijah, the spirit of Elijah has come, and now we're waking up as the rightful rulers of this planet. That's right. All oh, praises. All oh, praises. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 